And I'm going to unbox this water sparks digital water flow meter and this is a water flow meter where you can see the reading digitally and can be used in any flats apartments and even houses where you want to see what is the consumption of water or any liquid and this can be used for factories where liquid is used and can also be used in pharmaceuticals or chemical industries so I'm just going to show how this is going to be installed and here this is the unit actually and whenever you install make sure that whichever the flow of direction the liquid is going to flow in this direction you have to fix this okay and you just need to go get in the hardware store is two numbers of FTA which fits into it which is one in size so that you couple into your pipelines which your plumber will do or it's you can do it as simple as it and uh, now let's go to the uh, technical part like how to operate this and this is the meter actually and this this is the flow of liquid which is showing up here and down here you see this is the total amount this is a totalizer and this cannot be uh, disturbed in any way it's like how you have in your bike or in your car you have a hodometer and the hodometer cannot be uh, changed by any means so this is a total totalizer so suppose in case you can take the reading of 60.8 is a total which means 60 liters and 800 milliliters is the flow of water and next time when you take a reading of about 70 liters 70.8 which means one liter is flowed through the pipe let's see how this is going to work and now to make sure that uh, how this is going to work I've just got a, a hair dryer which has got a fan here so I'm just going to blow the air through the side uh, thinking that there's going to be a medium of water but actually it does not measure the air and I'm just going to put here and just run this yeah and Now earlier in the sense we had uh, 0, 0 as the reading now which means like now till now 4 liter and 800 milliliters of water has flown through this pipe and down you see a totalizer here and this totalizer earlier reading which we had and this reading what you have when you minus from that you will have what is the consumption actual consumption of the water which is actually this one because we started with 0. Now in case you want to reset you can reset this. When you reset this only this is going to go to reset and this will not go to the reset okay and now i have another one also here when you toggle this cal you can find the flow rate as well as the total what is the amount of total water flowed in this pipe so when it's going to be a uh, flow rate which means what is the exact amount of water flowing in the pipe at that particular moment so let's start again with the same blower And did you see this here yeah that was the actual water amount flowing which means it went up to 57.5 which means 57.5 liters of water is flowing at that particular moment change batteries turn this upside down remove these four screws remove this cup change the batteries as the water flow direction is only in one direction you may require orientation of this display for which you need to remove four of these screws remove the screws and just turn this in your required upside down direction make sure this wire does not get tampered and put it back and then screw it I'm just going to tell you how to calibrate this meter usually uh, this meter is set for water and in case we are going to use fluids like chemicals and petrol or something which has got a less viscosity maybe you should have error in the reading I'm just going to tell you how to do the calibration for that you just need to press long press this uh, calibration button for at least five to six seconds uh, now you can see the uh, units flickering and you just need to adjust with these two buttons and uh, you just need to move it to the next one and set it in case if your meter is running so fast maybe we'll set it to 0.8 and after this doing this just leave it for about uh, 10 seconds so it gets set yeah in case you want to run it fast make this to 1 and then toggle this again and make it this to 1.2 or 1.1 whichever is convenient for you when you toggle the calibration button you will also find this 
last one flickering up and down which shows you you can set up to gallons or whichever mode of uh, measurement you want so we have set it up uh, in liters now so you can set it up in liters and leave it for a moment so that it, it sets in automatically in the new version you can also reset the totalizer to reset the totalizer all you need to do is press the reset button for a longer duration you will see like this then after that again you need to reset the but reset press the reset button twice like this so it's a reset has happened that's all